Valley, two teens have been released from juvenile detention while they stand trial for the death of a schoolmate. This all happened following a fight that was caught on camera. KCO 9's Jeff Nguyen is live in the newsroom with more information on these teens. Good evening, Jeff. And good evening to you, Chris and Sarah. You know, the names of the teens are not being released because they're minors. Last month, both pled not guilty to a charge of voluntary manslaughter, and they were in juvenile detention until a judge's ruling yesterday. The Riverside County District Attorney's Office has confirmed the two defendants in the recorded fight that killed Diego Stoles were released yesterday. David Wool represents one of the 13-year-old boys who has been ordered to home custody by a judge. Well, they were in for 45 days since their arrest. Their behavior was exemplary. Uh, they had no prior criminal record, juvenile record. Diego's family declined to comment about the release, which comes just days after they filed a $100 million lawsuit against the Moreno Valley School District for the fight at Landmark Middle School. It makes me sad that these are the circumstances in which I have to defend him in, but I'm going to do it because I promised it. Tonight, the family's attorney sent us a statement reading, the two bullies sucker punched Diego not once, not twice, but three times, including when Diego was lying on the ground unconscious. They killed him. So whatever the bullies or their lawyer had to say, it's completely worthless. Maybe they can start with, I'm horrifically sorry. We have evidence that the bullying went back and forth, not just at Diego, but from Diego to our clients. That evidence will come out. But we agree that this was a tragedy that never should have taken place. The school district says it's not liable. And in a statement which partially reads, the two boys who attacked and killed Diego are responsible for his death. The school district failed to supervise these kids. If they had provided adequate supervision and security, then I doubt very much that this fight would have ever taken place. The attorneys for the defendants say that they will be allowed to continue with their education. It's unlikely for them to return to the same district. They'll definitely not go back to Landmark Middle School. They're scheduled to be back in court December 6th. Sarah? Terribly sad story, Jeff. Thank you.